On the front derailleur, we have a couple of limit screws here. Uh, one that's going to control the outer motions, marked H. That's the stop. One is the inner stop, or the L screw. It's, it's a screw that contacts the uh, portion of the cam body inside, uh, keeps us from moving further in, or in this case, out with the, uh, with the H screw. So we want to uh, adjust those so we have adequate clearance to our chain. We're not rubbing, uh, but still maintain a, uh, a, good, a good shift. Because we are in the H high gear position in the back, the chain is as far outward as it could ever go. We're looking to get a, a, a small gap between the cage and the chain. Uh, we don't want rubbing here. If it's too large a gap, if I shift and shove too hard uh, and too fast, if that gap is allowed to be too big, uh, we can potentially come right over. We should have a look at that problem and uh, show you what not to do here. And then there we go. We can see we are literally on the edge of falling right off um, in, the, in the front, similar to what we saw back by the spokes, just in the opposite direction. So we have too large of gap. We need to bring that Hitch screw in. We are sighting a gap again between the chain and that cage. About a millimeter is what we like to see and still have good shifting. So looks like we are about a millimeter. I would say we are almost rubbing. There's a couple of places we look to be rubbing. We are too close. And we'll back that out now slightly. I think we're better there. On the innermost ring, we will bring the rear to the innermost position. So the chain is moving from one side uh, to the other. This is the closest it could ever ever potentially be. Same concept, we want it as close with no rubbing. You could hear that would be rubbing, that noise there. Uh, we want it close. And again, okay, we hear a slight rubbing. Let's listen. Let's back off a little bit. We've gotten rid of the rubbing, and we still have some noise. Now be careful of noise because, again, chains will make a level, a standard level of noise as the chain meshes against, against the, the chain rings or the rear cogs. Okay, I think we're, we're there. Now let's see if it shifts well. We do not want to see it drop down to the bottom bracket and fall off. If it did fall off toward the inside, our chain became dislodged to the inside, the L-screw is too loose. So pretty fair settings, front and back. Let's have a close-up view of the shifting of the front derailleur cage. It will push the chain from the small to the large sprocket and then back down to the small.
we can see some of the sophisticated machined ramps that are cut in the modern chain rings that help assist assist the chain in its journey from the small ring up to the large ring. And the cage is to stop at the extreme inner position and the extreme outer position with our limit screws.